Don Gen me because I'm beautiful. Hit me because I'm an immigrant. <laughs> hola, hola, hola. I'm Theresa May. I'm originally from Spain, but now I'm Newcastle's spiciest, meatiest, and silliest sausage. Everything that a British person thinks a Spanish woman acts and looks and talks like, that's Theresa May. You know that flamenco doll your grandma bought you when she went to Tenerife? That's me. My favorite thing about Newcastle is my boyfriend's stick. That's why I moved here five years ago, and that's why I'm still here. Very nice. <laughs> I think there might be a little bit confused as per why our Spanish queen is walking in the UK competition. But listen, Linda, I started doing drag in Newcastle. So I'm as much as a UK queen as any other of these bitches. We are playing Dirty Shiraz. No idea what this is. Great way to start the season. Who? Who he balls drag race? <laughs> Blue balls drag race! <laughs> These British party games are a piece of piss. Newcastle footballers are named magpies because they were black and white. Did Alan Shearer? <laughs> I am a Jordi at heart, so see you down the tune, pet. I bet she knows the offside rules. This full power suit is hand painted by me. I love my art just as much as I love my drag. So to have them both together, I've never felt this good. I am arty, I am farty, and I'm ready to party. <laughs> going, going, gone. <laughs> we know who the hodgepodge of the season is. <laughs> this is savage. My two teammates are the best dancers in the competition. They have the beauty, they have the bodies, and then there's me. I have a body that my mum gave me. <laughs> I'm in front of RuPaul. Ay, Dios mío, que Dios nos pide confesados. I am very scared. What the fuck? is going on. My idea of riding a bike is in the mountain or by the beach, saying hi to the birds, but this is full on <laughs> Does dancing and riding a bike go together? Fuck no. But right now, I'm holding to that bike like it's the thickest, juiciest dick, and I'm gonna ride it till I die. It's a new day in the workroom. Baby size. Oh, yeah. We're doing the dragathon. Oh. After the rehearsal, I'm feeling a little bit saddled for. <laughs> Tonight on the wrong way, I'm serving you flaming ho. This is what I do best. Traditional Spanish with a twist. So what might look like a headpiece is actually part of the wig. I am shocked. So as much as I could be happy that one of my biggest competitors is gone, I'm not feeling that right now. I want her to be here. <laughs> I got everything red in the room. There's an owl wearing a top hat in the mix. It's giving me a good feeling. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Veronica is spending quite a lot of time helping other queens, and I look at her dress, and it's quite a project. I don't know if she has everything under control. I mean, she's a professional, so I am hoping she's aware of the very limited time that we have to pull this together. I'm serving you Dora the Explorer has quit teaching English, and now she's a high fashion bitch. I'm wearing a backpack to keep all my lippy. When I climb the mountain, I can look beautiful in it. Hello, campers! I am giving it the most femme fatale feel that I have. I feel powerful, I feel beautiful. My outfit is made from a blanket. I spray paint some hearts in it. I add a little bit of a Spanish ruffle, a very sensible turtleneck. Who knew a picnic blanket could be this evil and fabulous? I choose Crystal, I'm sorry, Teresa. Oh, come on. Well, excuse me, I am pretty. Not as pretty as Crystal, but bloody hell, girl, I'm already being picked last. I am heartbroken. At this point, I don't know if these girls see me as competition. Okay. Ella, she's not doing as great as it's expected from her, and I think that's making us all a little bit nervous. I'm like, oh. I feel a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I want this session to go well. Yeah. I think we're starting working pretty well as a team and we are not overcomplicating the choreo so everyone in the group can actually nail it. We are back in the workroom, it's elimination day and I'm feeling so excited, but I'm feeling the pressure as well. Pick and mix have a point to prove. I am serving you Union Jack realness. I'm a very proud UK citizen 
and I want to show that. So I'm wearing the big hair that Jerry would wear, a bespoke corset with very beautiful stones. Spice up your life, bitches. <laughs> Listen, girls, for somebody that was big class for the challenge, doesn't matter what you throw at me, I'm here to overcome it. So piss off! Cause I just won! I just, just won! I feel like I finally arrived to this competition. This is my first repeat of batch, but it's definitely not gonna be the last one. Listen, there are not bad ideas in a brainstorm. Let's get all the thoughts out, and if something is shit, it's out. It's time to sell the shit of our drag Lexa. This time next year, Rodney will be millionaires! Let's hope that the final piece is so good, it lands us another win. <laughs> I am serving you Gold Rush, all covered in gold, this very expensive cowgirl. Yahoo! Is that what to say? Yeeha! No, not Yahoo. <laughs> I'm officially the golden girl of this competition. I feel for her and I understand her. I would be pissed off as well. But leaving the room is just not gonna help you understand what just happened. I have many theories in my head. Could be the team captains, then it could be Scarlett and Charity that had the more votes to go home tonight. Or my inner saboteur is telling me, bitch, you're gonna be lip syncing, so get ready for that song and sell your best. There's nothing like a little bit of drag queen honesty, right? One single talent, my ass. Theresa May! Oh, stop it, I'm such a bitch! <laughs> Just kidding, I'm nice. I consider myself a funny queen, so I'm expecting to race to the occasion. She was not the best singer, but she knew it, and she played to her strengths, so I can relate to that. I am a nervous saucy. I'm gonna make my own decision on this, and if I do well or if I do bad, at least I can blame myself for it. He just seemed like he hated me for everything that I, that I was doing, and... Talking one day to my mom, she actually told me that the real reason is because she, he had been struggling to just accept the fact that his son was in fact gay. I am very proud of who my dad has become now, and I'm, I'm, I'm so lucky. Tonight on The Wrong Way, I'm serving you the Queen's speech. A look inspired by Carmen Miranda with a massive, juicy arse. I mean, peach on top of my head. Fun fact, I love collecting fruit stickers, so I designed my own and added them to the outfit. If you are not feeling peachy after seeing me in this, what's wrong with you? I feel like RuPaul and Michelle could just have screamed to my face, meh, and I would have saved them some saliva. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stay in this competition, even if that means that River has to go home. I think everyone who is gonna be back home watching, my family, my boyfriend, <laughs> I think they're all going to be very proud of me. <laughs> mm. I miss them so much. <laughs> <laughs>